I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Wakar, Wadash. I'm going to say, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai Mashiach, Barakatha Yahweh Allah, Barakatha Yahweh. I'm going to say, Kala, Kala, Shalawam, Shalawam, Halawaya, Halawaya. We're going to give double honors to the Apostle Mill. There's a great millstone who teach it real well and who are overseeing the construction of the tabernacle of David, a more perfect tabernacle. We're going to say Shalawam to the Akim, Wabwafim, scattered abroad. We're going to say Shalawam to the civil believers, scattered abroad. This is Yahweh Sop, Ban Yasha'Allah, Ban Yahawada, come to you live through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi al to give you another quick lesson. We're going to start off with the proverb of the day. Today's proverb is Proverbs 12 and 14. A man shall be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth, and the recompense of a man's hands shall be rendered unto him. A man shall be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth, and the recompense of a man's hands shall be rendered unto him. With that being said, we're going to get into the lesson for today. So this is Proverbs 24 and 17. It's like in 7. Proverbs 24 and 7. Wisdom is too high for a fool. He openeth, openeth not his mouth in the gate. Wisdom is too high for a fool. He openeth not his mouth in the gate. You know what I'm saying? And what is that wisdom? Ultimately, that wisdom is talking about the um the truth the knowledge and wisdom of these holy scriptures, you know what I'm saying? The truth for the Bible. And that ultimately is too high for uh, 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 a fool, you know what I'm saying? Oh, let's go on to that word, fool. Strong's H191. Evil. Evil. Be foolish. Second foolish. entry. Evili. Evili. Be foolish. Foolish. Of one who despises wisdom. Of one who mocks when guilty. Of one who is quarrelsome. Of one is uh, lentious. Uh, meaning to be perverse. Frigative, silly, full, foolish. Of one who despises wisdom. So a fool doesn't always have to be somebody who is, who is unlearned. Because that doesn't necessarily make somebody a fool because they're not unlearned. Because uh, 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 the ability to learn and ultimately is uh, it comes to, that's a gift from the most high. You know what I'm saying? And even some things you might not understand, but it might not be because you're understanding now. It's just because you ain't put in the proper time, effort, and sincere, uh, sincere, diligent studies to obtain such knowledge. You know what I'm saying? But a true fool is like it says, one who despises wisdom, the truth, ultimately, because all wisdom is is the proper application of knowledge. Wisdom is the proper application of knowledge. Let's go to Proverbs one and seven. It's going to prove the point. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Let's go into that word fear. Because that word fear ultimately is just talking about deep reverence. And also, Strong's you know, H3374. Yir'ah. Yir'ah. It says fear, terror, fearing. Fear, terror, awesome or terrifying thing. Object, con, co, uh, so like a, object causing fear. And what? Fear of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Respect, reverence, piety, revered. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's, it's a double it's a double edged sword. Yeah, we supposed to fear the most high. But what that fear is is uh, dup uh, duplicate uh, slakia, dup. So like I'm not even gonna try to say it. The fear is double uh, applicable. It's actual fear, like I ain't gonna fuck with him. And then there's is respect and reverence, like um, I I have enough uh, I gotta use the word I have enough respect to do the things that you want me to do. You know what I'm saying? 
I fear you enough to do what you want me to do, and I also respect you enough to do what you want me, what, what I want me to do. That's why it's a it's a it's a, it's a duplicate it's a duplicate slacker. It's double applicable. You know what I'm saying? Applicable. You gotta fear the Lord, and you gotta respect the Lord. Because why ultimately Yahweh Bashimi uh especially Yahweh, he's our father. You know what I'm saying? You but you but your father, your actual worldly father, you respect and fear him. It's a it's it's a um a balance of both. You know what I'm saying? Because why a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. So it's not supposed to be about all all just fear, like, you know what I'm saying, cowering and fear, you know what I'm saying? Oh Yahweh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's important, but you gotta have that respect to balance it out. You got to have that respect to balance it out. Uh, so like it says in Proverbs 1 and 7, to honor uh, the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge. The beginning of knowledge, that knowledge is talking about, uh, um, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, that knowledge being the truth of the scriptures. And not only that, any any type of knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Yahweh by Shemiah Shah will put anything in your mind. How you think the, the, uh, the automobile, automobile was invented? How you think they figured out trigonometry and all this other bullshit that's that's really carnal? Yahweh Bashim Yahshah put that stuff into their brains, even though they might not have the fear of the Lord, he still he still put that knowledge into their brains. So how much more the true men of the Lord? How much more the true believers of the Lord? If we have the real fear of him, how much how much knowledge will we um uh how much knowledge will we get? You know what I'm saying? Let me grab a scripture real quick. Uh knowledge. And the end times knowledge Daniel twelve and four. Daniel twelve and four. But thou, O Daniel, shut up, the, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the end. So like it, even to the time of the end, many shall run to and or fro, and knowledge shall be increased. You know what I'm saying? Especially upon the men of the Lord, the nation of Yasharala, knowledge has definitely increased over over these last decades. Why? Because the truth is coming out more and more and more. Starting on with the apostles and elders, the great millstone, who started learning uh, under the the tutelage. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and under the tutelage of high priest Arya, uh, uh, Elder Abba Bivens, you know what I'm saying? They took, and like the Bible also says, others have entered into our labor. That's why knowledge has increased, because others are coming into and furthering the truth, furthering the, the truth of the scriptures. And what? All this knowledge is ultimately coming to the nation of Yasharala and going out to these nations, to these nations to get that edification. To the where um the true men of the Lord, you know what I'm saying, the hopeful elect are scattered among these nations and also they they condemnation. Cause these nations gotta get these nations gotta get uh, edified and condemned. Get edified because there's there's uh Akium scattered in them and get condemned because there's heathen scattered in them. So going back to the proverb. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but what but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. That's what makes you a true fool. And that's a lot of you fools out here that won't hearken on to the um the, to the voice of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, which comes through the mouth of the prophets. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't speaking with our own words. We speaking what Yahweh Bashim Yahshua puts into our spirits. Um, it's like, yeah. So this is Ezekiel 3 and 1. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this row, and then what? Go speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that row, talking about the whole truth, the truth of these scriptures. You know what I'm saying? The truth and the knowledge of these scriptures. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this row that I gave thee. Then, I, then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And then what? And he said unto me, he said unto me, son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and what? And speak with my words unto them. 
my words unto them. Speak unto them my words. But what? But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. Ultimately, proving the point, we're not speaking what we want to speak. We're speaking to you what Yahweh by Shimei Ashad puts into our spirits and puts into our mind to speak to you. And if you don't listen to us, it's not you not listening to us. You're not listening to the Most High God. Um, I think it's Proverbs. I stretched my hand out before the... Yes, sir. Proverbs 1 and 24. So I'm going to start at 20. Wisdom cried without. She uttereth, uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the city, she uttereth her words, saying, Now I got to go back to that proverb that I had. Proverbs, what was the Proverbs? Um, Proverbs. Was it 24? Let me just go. I'll go to the history. Let's see. 1 and 6. Daniel 1 and 7. Okay, 24 and 7. 24 and 7. Wisdom is too high for a fool. He openeth not his mouth in the gate. And going back to Proverbs 1 and 20. 20 wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried from the chief places of concourse and what in the openings of the gates. In the openings of the gates where fools where fools can't even speak. You see, you see the, the contrast, the compare and contrast. The fools can't speak in the gate, but the, but wisdom can. And not only wisdom, but the true men, the prophets, and the akim of the Lord Yahabashmiyasha. We are the ones that come out here and bid people to the marriage. In the city, she uttered her, her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, how long, you fools, you know what I'm saying, will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and what? And fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. That's ultimately going to Yahabah Shimei Ashai, opening up somebody's mind so he can receive this truth, and receive this truth, and being able to go out and teach the truth. But what? Verse 24. Because I have called and you refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no no man regarded, and that's what happens. We come to these fools, you know what I'm saying? We come to the fools that hate wisdom. We come to the nation of Yasha Allah. We come to these other nations. We we try to teach them the truth for the scriptures. You know what? That's Yahweh Bashim Yasha stretching his hand out to you, and you refuse. That's him calling on to you, and you refuse. Which ultimately that marks you for death and destruction. And it goes on, it's going to, it's going to elaborate. 25, but ye have set, Slaki, but ye have set at not all my counsel, it would none of my reproof. You refuse it. You know what I'm saying? You, you didn't really care. So what? I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when the stress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall see me early, but they shall not find me. For what? For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh. And continuing on. They will have none of my counsel. They despise my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Talking about ultimately the day of the Lord that shall burn as an oven. And you know what? You other nations, you other people. We ain't trying to like, hear onto this word, you know what I'm saying? You just gonna be, you gonna be uh, uh, missile food. You gonna be missile food, and ultimately that's gonna be because that was your lot. You were chosen, you were chosen for predestination for damnation. In that verse, uh, Proverbs one and twenty, uh, twenty, uh, so like it, one and thirty one. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own vices? Brings us back to the proverb of the day. Proverbs 12 and 14. A man shall be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth, and the recompense of a man's hands shall be rendered unto him. You know what I'm saying? You go out and speak the good things. You speak the truth. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately, uh, if it's your Howard's will, if it's your lot, you're going to be satisfied with the, good, with the reward. You know what I'm saying? 
and the recompense of your hands, your work. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I think it says, I think it's a scripture in Revelation that says, um, you know, in the dead. The dad's works do follow them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, then the recompense of a man's hands shall be rendered unto him, whether it's good or bad. Like it says in Ecclesiastes, which, you know, you know me, I'm going to get that at the end. It says in 19, the lip of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is for but a moment. So all you people out here, um, so all you people out here that ain't that are speaking against the truth, are speaking these lies, are speaking these uh, wayward and forward philosophies and not ideologies and all these bullshit, this, that, and third, Christianity, uh, Buddhism, uh, uh, all the, throw around all these theological terms and like um, supersessionism, replacement theology, monotheistic, and all this stupid shit that Yahweh doesn't care about. You're going to you're, you're gonna have to pay for that. You're going to have to pay for that. Proverbs 17 and 17 and is it 11? Proverbs 17 and 11. An evil man seeketh only rebellion. Therefore, a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. Hey. Hey. I'm trying to tell you fools out here, you fools that don't want to listen to this, this knowledge and uh, statute, these knowledge and uh, wisdom and understanding who don't want to hearken unto it. Who don't want to take hold of this Bible, these laws, statutes, and commandments, don't want to uh, realize the truth of your identity, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to pay for that. You're gonna have to pay for that. Um Matthew 24. Uh, 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 he would have watched and I, therefore be us. So this is Matthew 24 and 44. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh, who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord have made ruler of his household to give him meat and due season. What? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all of his good. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. And what's that mission? We supposed to, what are we supposed to be doing? We're supposed to be out here teaching the truth of these scriptures. We're supposed to be out here bidding people to the marriage. And if you ain't doing that, you're going to be destroyed. That's just, that's just, that's just a uh, point, blank period. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to be, if you're going to be found when the day of the Lord comes and you found still in your iniquity, and you still found in your sin, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be over with. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh about Shema Shai is not taking excuses on that day. On that day, Yahweh Bashmi Yashai is not taking excuses. He ain't trying to hear no my bads. He not trying to hear no um no I didn't know. He not trying to hear none of that. He's not trying to hear it. Because why? Ultimately you were that fool. You were that fool that walked by the camp that one day, heard the heard, heard the Lord uh, heard the um the truth of the Bible being brought out, just kept walking, or you were that fool who was with his girl. Stop and listen to the word, but let his girl push him away. But you were that fool who tried to come up against the truth and got cut many a times and still didn't even, still didn't, uh, it's like you. You were that fool who came up to the camp and got cut and then went right back to your vomit. You know what I'm saying? Proverbs speaks on that. Uh, uh, as a, as a dog return to his vomit, so shall a fool return to his folly. After you done got cut up so many times, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you go back to doing what you do, you definitely don't have an excuse. You definitely don't have an excuse.
That was another. There's a many of scriptures I want to get, but shit. James three. So this is um, James 3 and 13. Who is, a wise, who is a wise man and a dude with knowledge among you? Let him shoot out of a, a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. Who is a wise man and a dude with knowledge among you? Because his knowledge and wisdom is a blessing. It comes from the most high. Everybody ain't supposed to get it. But everybody's supposed to everybody's supposed to hear it so that why Yahweh by Shimi Ashai can be justified in destroying you. It says, Let him show out of his good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But if ye have bitter envy and strife in your hearts, glory not, and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, and devilish. Talking about um that talking about like it says in 14 but if you have bitter envy and strife in your hearts glory not lie not against the truth lying against the truth lying against the truth is not from the most high like it says in 15 this wisdom descended not from above but it's earthly sensual and devilish when you come against this truth that's not from the most high that's not from the most high although he destines you to do that what you're what you're thinking you know what I'm saying? What you think is true, that's not the truth. The truth comes from the most high. What's going on in your brain is just your lot. You're just fulfilling your lot. For where envy and strife is, there is confusion in every work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure. What does pure mean? It's, it's, it's 100%. You know what I'm saying? It's... it's, it's Let's just go into it. Strong's G3303. Man. Man. Truly, certainly, surely, indeed. Um, indicative of affirmation or concession, in fact, usually followed by a contrasted clause, even, indeed, some, truly, verily. So, like it says, it's... It, this truth, this wisdom from up high is, is truly, is certain. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it, can't, it can't be fucked with. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy, full of mercy. Because that's, that's ultimately, that's ultimately, you know what I'm saying? You can you even be able to hear this wisdom and get it. That's mercy from the most high. He's trying to, he's at least giving you a chance. To make your calling and election sure. And good fruits without partiality. That goes again. That goes to these t uh, camps. That's talking about you can't have 100% truth without partiality. And without hypocrisy. And there are many scriptures. Um, many scriptures. Many scriptures. So I'm just for this um So this is really this scripture is more so towards the Akium, you know what I'm saying? This is Second Timothy three and fourteen. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. So to uh, to the Akium who who are learning from Great Millstone and then from the uh, from the Seer believers who are learning from Great Millstone. Continue in learning from Great Millstone, because Great Millstone has the truth. Great Millstone, hey, Apostle Elder Tahar, Apostle Elder Gabar, Apostle Elder Aramlob, all the way down. Hey, you, if, you, if you follow those men, you can't go wrong. And it says, um, And that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise, which are able... Hey man, that's a hey, that's powerful right there. Cause what what we've been talking about this whole time, 
wisdom and what a fool a uh, um fools hate fools despise wisdom so when you when you despise you just hate the scriptures that's all it is you hate you hate the most high you hate the scriptures you despise them you don't despise us you despise the most high second timothy 3 and 15 and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are what able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is hamashiach yahweh which brings me to a scripture in my mind um Making why well, I think it might be it might be Hebrews four. Yeah, yeah, okay. Psalms, I'm sure, man. I don't know how I forgot that. So let me end. let me get that scripture in and I'll end with Psalms nineteen. Um, and Second Timothy three and sixteen. All scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh Bashimah Shah. All scripture, including the apocrypha, the apocrypha too. Because that's scripture. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for what? For instruction in righteousness. But what? Fools hate wisdom and instruction. Fools, they despise wisdom. They, they just despise the scripture. They despise the most high. That the man of God might be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good word, works. So let's get Psalms 19. And then I'll end it out. So this is Psalms 19. And seven, but the law of Yahweh is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of Yahweh is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of Yahweh are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of Yahweh is pure, enlightening the eyes. Hey, 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 if you if you out here, if you hate. The, the knowledge of wisdom of my most high. If let me, let's go back to the scripture, Proverbs twenty four and seven. Wisdom is too high for a fool; he opened if not his mouth in the gate. Hey, it's too high for you because it wasn't meant for you. What's meant for you is death and destruction. So this is Ecclesiastes twelve and thirteen. Um, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. For you, how about Shimei Ashai? And keep his commandments, where this is the whole duty of man. For Yahweh Bashimi al Shah shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. And with that being said, I'm going to say, Halawaya, Halawaya.